story and as we take ourselves into their story, we go into the first round of bands. Yep, uh, the, all the Windows story. updates are done in case anybody was wondering why we were delayed. <laughs> you ready to take Shiva's job. Uh, right, right, right. I like it. You can, you can keep going with it. Go for it. I, I think um, DK fits their style so well because it's a combination of so many things, right? It takes early towers for you. Naturally, that map control allows your carry to be able to farm more parts of the map. It's a hero that you play around as a four man and it's strong enough in team fights and front lines really well that you can actually win team fights four versus five potentially um while your carry is just kind of farming away i one thing i don't want to see anymore mm. is um mag juggernaut i don't want to see teams give that up anymore if they've, they've there's an early magnus picked up here by og or something like that make sure you ban juggernaut in the second phase i think that combo is too strong shadow demon Shadow Demon is one of the heroes I, I I thought was a sleeper pick for the patch. Okay. He's been buffed a lot. That level one disruption, 11 second duration. Shadow Poison no longer dispellable if you compare him to like three or four patches ago. It's pretty insane. Uh, and the a traditional matchup. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. traditional combo. Yeah, the, the thing I love about Dota, no matter how many years, no matter how many patches, heroes have natural synergies and you're going to somehow see them wind up together once again. Centaur, we've been seeing it get picked up. What do you know? Heroes that naturally synergize with the Centaur are going to also be more likely to be picked up. Shadow Demon is a perfect case in point. Grimstroke, I really like the bands. I actually thought they were going to first pick the Grimstroke mm -hmm. because they banned out the Oracle, who can purge the Ink Swell in lane. And then they also banned out the Nyx, who's like a very reliable way to uh, stun up the Grimstroke. So. What do you think, out of curiosity, did our counterpick was if um, Alliance picked up Grimstroke right here? Since seeing as they did ban away some of the counters to it. Mm. That there's so many moving factors. Cause they, yeah. you know, I'd have to know like what they picked with Grimstroke. You know, did they pick a combo like Doom or did they, you know, just pick a mid laner that gets ink swelled? I think in, you have two options. You either pick to count like to save against the Grimstroke or, or like jump the Grimstroke or you pick against the guy that's meant to be ink swelled like if it's a storm sphere you'd pick a hero that locks down the storm for instance for and the uh very very observant observant oh, uh people watching uh at the moment yes you do see that correct alliance has only got one minute and 40 seconds as bonus time as they have a draft penalty just want to point that out so it wasn't our fault that we waited oh no it was not oh no. i was really enjoying listening to bsj's voice so Me too. I, I wanted to stall the did. draft as long as possible and alliance knew that they heard you yeah thank you alliance thank we you. appreciate you oh it's actually og that ended up banning out the the morphling yeah, Nico, baby, Morphling. It also synergizes as one of the ranged carries that benefits from Shadow Demon Illusions. Mm -hmm. Those things hit like trucks. I think it's like 80% damage at max level. Isn't that right? For Shadow Demon Illusions? Yeah. It's a lot. Something like that. I think 50, 60, 70, 80. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Either way, you know, 80% of a lot is a lot. Mm -hmm. Morphling hits for a lot. Quick maths. I thought for at this stage of the game, we were going to see a lot more carries banned out because both teams don't have any just yet. And we saw what uh, Anna could do with PL in the previous series that they played. I'm surprised it's not Alliance banning more carries, mostly because they've already given their offlane. Yeah. Um, so apparently they just feel like there's nothing that really threatens this duo yeah. so much. They banned out the Ember and the Pugna. TA. Still up for grabs. <laughs> Let's go. It's right there. That's yeah, the F with the the last band Viper. Still there. <laughs> last band Viper. <laughs> They're ready. Get that get that Templar Assassin. I, I I don't really like that hero. Like in terms of the the patches where it's bad, it's bad because it takes farm away from the carry, but mm -hmm. we've been seeing the Beastmaster. Why can't you do the same thing with a TA? I've actually seen it in pubs. And it owns. You just get the death so pretty early. You have all the time in the world. They're actually going bottle. Mm -hmm. So you're able to spam refraction. And you get early ancients. And Do you have oh. any carry matchups that are, that are a problem? Like uh, Phantom Lancer or anything like that? Uh, yes. Like, there are issues. But if I think if they were to preemptively assume, like, okay, if we're going to pick TA, then, like, Centaur deals with illusion carries decently, especially in lane. Yeah. No, certainly. The double edges. A hefty, hefty hit against uh, some of these high agility heroes, and not much the Phantom Monster would really be able to do against Retaliate Max. Yeah, like likely like a life stealer, right? For OG, 
maybe they're not as simple as we see all these other teams. You see Grimstroke, you see Centaur, you pick Lifestealer. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think Lifestealer is looking a little too good here. With the ET, you think of Drow, Luna. I actually think Luna comes to mind here, right? You have the Shatter Demon, the ET. Yeah, it uh, it doesn't match up with the Grimstroke. For are we talking about? Oh, so I know I'm talking for Alliance oh, okay. Luna here. Yeah, OG. I was looking at them and I was trying to think about like, okay, what carry do you want? Uh, Juggernaut doesn't feel that good because of Shadow Demon, uh, but you still want a carry that is able to use Ink Swell because that is going to be your combo in lane. What are the odds that this is a mid Grim five faceless void? I would well. I wouldn't say mid Grim might not be too far out of left field if it's five faces void. I'm not too sure about that I one. I don't think No Tail has practiced that. <laughs> I know, like, I know Southeast Asia. I know Dubu was playing it as well. <laughs> like, Ooh, there are certain games in a row. there are certain people who who do try these very experimental fives. I don't. I'm not sure if No Tail has, has tried it out. But on the yet. when you look at like Centaur as an offlaner, do you think I want a faces void? As no. a carry, no, especially not against a shadow demon who can save people inside the chrono and elder type. Wow, the they go for the DK, oh, the what first a DK pick of the series for Alliance. Man, that faces void is re really looking like a five position. <laughs> it is. Uh, invoker pickup. Okay, so that's always it's a five void just setting up for that Ag's Voker. <laughs> yeah, off lane Grim. Maybe why you'll even get the shard on Invoker. Why yeah. is five void a thing? Uh, time dilation yeah. like does damage. It's just the one spell that's been buffed in a relevant manner. Okay. Basically, in order to make a five position work, you need to either have way above average stats, which is where Death a lot of people were doing patch. last patch, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. There was we saw like people try Brewmaster, or Naga Sire, and there's like a long list. Or you yeah. need one like really OP basic ability usually. Um, and like time dilation. Time dilation is very broken as if you just put that ability aside that the concept of it is quite concept. strong the the level four cooldown i think is 16 seconds now it's really low it's like 16 yeah. or 18 and the duration's i think 11. so the uptime is pretty nutty and now it also does damage based on how many abilities you have on cooldown uh just in case kyle's watching just make mm -hmm. sure he knows the patch notes he's actually already in the car he's driving oh away. It's true. So we'll have GG. to message him that one later. All right, they're going to ban the Phantom Lancer on the side of OG. Uh, Alliance are going to take away some offlaners here. What's really problematic for them that's left? Necrophos, would that be any good? Maybe that's not enough playmaking potential? You do need a dangler. Mm. Timbersaw was a nice dangler. Yeah, for sure. Dangler, as in a person that will go in first, like yes, yeah, so you have all like these like DK stuns, centaur stuns, shadow demon. Like there's a lot of damage threat mm -hmm. um, and initiation from alliance. And right now, nobody on OG wants to be in front. Nobody wants to go in first. Earth spirit even is usually a follow up, yeah, uh, or a counter initiation. So void, he doesn't want a front line. He doesn't have a save. There's no oracle with him or anything. A bad and so you definitely need that beefy boy that will force these spells on it. I think you just can't pick Necro, though, because of Shadow Demon. Oh, that yeah, matchup's you're right. pretty unplayable. Yeah, that, 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 that matchup sucks. Saves against your Reapers and the constant purge against your Ghost Shroud. What is it, though? It's, uh, any of the, like, ranged ones besides Sacrifice, Viper, Venomancer... Razor, any of those heroes work I here? don't think it's crazy if they just go like Nature's Prophet. I know I said mm. like a dangler, but he's a guy that like the way you can build, you can build to just TP in with a BKB on. You okay with that against ET? Doesn't it lane pretty well or is that bad? Uh, I mean, it, it just kind of goes back and forth, right? You can get punished at level one, but if you get to level two, then you're able to reset a little bit more. Okay. They, just, just... they also lack tower pressure. That's why he came to mind uh, on the side of OG. They ban out the Darkseer last. But it is an offlane Grimstroke, five void. <laughs> that could still be That narrative the case. is still possible. I'm living in my own little world here. Yeah, well, we'll see if OG is uh, joining you in that little world within uh, within 35 seconds. They still got 25 seconds left in their bonus time, of course. Yeah, 25 more seconds than Alliance did because they draft penalty. Mm-hmm. Let's see. I mean, they have still got their their ways open. We've we've also seen Topson play Earth Spirit mid. That's also still an option. 
Well, he's, uh, he's preparing. They know what they want. They want Bloodseeker. There Bloodseeker. it is. Oh. Carry Bloodseeker off lane Grimstroke. <laughs> Five void. <laughs> Brian's broken it. He's broken the meta. Uh, that's not a dangler. No. So they are. But it is a hero that pumps damage mm -hmm. into Chronosphere, which True. is the one thing that I like. Uh, that was part why I wanted a ranged offlaner. Also, the fact that you have to deal with ET in lane. Uh, so typically, ranged offlaners are able to deal with that a you little bit better. You have the kick better. synergy with the rupture. Or yeah, kick. yeah, you do have that. It's just um, th like they don't have this initial hefty amount of damage that makes Bloodseeker feel really good. Yeah, it gets that initial bolster of yeah, you know, 200 move speed. Unless the Earth Spirit's getting some amazing roll in or something, you know. Life stealer. Juggernaut. Okay, yeah. Ma I was just thinking magic immunity. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a, that's all I was thinking. Because, right? yeah, you have the pure damage coming out from the Cataclysm in the future, as well as the Bloodseeker. But you have the Shadow Demon Disruption, which was, I, I think, kind of weird that OG all in a combo mm -hmm. when there was already a save drafted and 